finish eating? <laughs> Good? You ready now? Oh. We're waiting. They're waiting. Let us know when you're ready. All right. Whenever you're ready, they're waiting. And I figured um, for this episode, yeah. we could just like, you know, we talk about beer every episode. Yes, we do. And I figured for this episode, let's talk about my chest hair. Well, let's not. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Catch us out on uh, iTunes, Facebook. Uh, anyway. But I thought where I thought you were going with that is that uh, we do talk about beer. We do get the uh, email going, why doesn't John ever talk about his beer? And it's true. And I thought, well, you know what, John, you have a lot of beers. I don't know exactly how many you brew in a year. How many do you brew in a year? Oh, geez. You mean barrels or styles? No, styles. Like, what are your... Uh, We've probably got 40-some recipes on the books. You so. do? Okay. But... Uh, you know, we try to keep six beers on tap year round, yep. uh, with some seasonals as we can, you know, if we can squeeze them in. If you can squeeze them in, right? So, um, you uh, Moon River Brewing Company, for those of you who don't know, is in Savannah, uh, right in the heart of Savannah, and you brew your own beers here. And um, talk a little bit about the beer you've chosen, because you could have chosen from so many, but you chose. Well, I chose the uh, Swamp Fox IPA. Okay. Um, and I, and I should say, before we get into this, uh -huh. the reason we haven't done any of our beers so far is just sort of, I mean, I, we get little plugs in here and there, right? Uh, mm -hmm. just as we talk about other beers, we make references to our own beers here and there, but uh, trying to be somewhat impartial. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't a, this isn't the Moon River show, it's, it's beeramerica.tv. Sure. It's a beer show, though, and that's why I say it's relevant, because you're a brewer. And I figured, I figured when the time was right, you would say, hey, let's do one of your beers. Yeah. And, that's where we are. Yeah, so he's going, Prick has not asked me to do my beers <laughs> in over a year. But I did no, I, 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 you're right. You're right. The, the bad, here's the bad, here's the downside of doing a, a Moon River beer. This is the bad side. Well, we don't have bottles. Exactly. And uh, that's what I was going to say. The only way you're going to be able to taste John Pickerton's beer, and that's a whole other uh, rant that we could get into, but we don't have time uh, or enough tape, is if you come to Savannah. And I know since Savannah is such a tourist town, I'm sure some of you will be here at some point in time. So I thought, let's talk about a Moon River beer. Well, so anyways, we're going to talk about Swamp Fox IPA. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an American-style IPA. I often call it a West Coast-style IPA mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, I think, yeah, I don't like to get into the big, like, East Coast versus West Coast, like, oh, we're hot Blood here, oh, we're yeah. bitter, more bitter, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I will say that um, there is a distinctive sort of West Coast, uh, uh, you know, balls out hop character. Yeah, so, okay. Um, and that's kind of what we were going for here. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of wanted to... You know, we, when I started this thing uh, 11 years ago, when I started this thing with my business partner, Gene Biko, mm -hmm. who's a Southern gentleman, um, I was kind of afraid that I would have to make some sacrifices in terms of what kind of styles we brewed. And uh, one of the first things he said to me was just, do what you want to do. Make the beer you want to make and, you know, we'll make some adjustments we have to later. And uh, so it was kind of a, a point for me that I wanted to make a beer that it could really measure up, you know, a beer made in the Deep South that could really measure up with anything on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's always a point of honor for me for when uh, I get somebody from the from one of the West Coast brewers or just somebody who's like, oh, yeah, I'm from Oregon, you know, everything in Oregon's great. Yeah. And then they taste this and they're like, wow, that's really good for, yeah. you know, I didn't expect it to be hoppy and bitter and full body. So that's what we have here. I mean, this is a traditional IPA recipe. Yeah, and I have had the pleasure of, of having this before, and this is definitely a hoppy beer. Certainly, off the nose, the whole flavor profile, very, very hoppy beer. That's what we're going for. We, um, we, we use a bunch of the sea hops. We use Centennial and Chinook. Um, uh, we dry hop with um, Centennial, uh, Brewer's Gold, and Amarillo, which kind of run a range of different characters. The Brewer's Gold is kind of more of a current, uh, current black currant kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. um, Amarillo is known for its sort of peachy or apricot kind of note in addition to being citrusy. And then of course Centennial is just like super grapefruit citrus character. Right. Um, and we use only one malt. We use the traditional IPA recipe which is basically 100% uh, English Chubo malt. Okay. Um, and so uh, it, from time to time people give me a hard time about the color because uh, for some people this is a relatively light. Um, I was going to say, I would think cloudy. This one's is a little bit cloudy. We just put yeah. this on tap, so it's. Uh, yeah. uh, this yeast is really, really flocculent. So mm -hmm. usually what will happen is 
Oh, sorry, yeah. say, what, what is it? Flocculent. I'm okay, sorry. all right, just to make sure that it is have... a it has a very strong propensity to drop out of solution. Like we don't filter this beer, um, and usually uh, when we first put it on tap, it'll be cloudy for a day or two, um, but it, it'll drop bright usually. If there is a haze uh, that lingers, it's usually just kind of a hop haze um, because we dry hop it very heavily. Um, sometimes, sometimes when you heavily dry hop stuff, there's so much. Um, the oil content is high enough to where it actually throws a little bit of the haze there. Some people like a good hop haze. I, so, I'm one of them. And I, me too. It's very nice. Nice color. And I'm, and I'm blessed to be married to uh, kind of a hop head. All well. right. Good. Excellent. She, nice. Connie likes the hops. Yeah. I used to be more of a hop guy myself until I started doing this thing with you and then I discovered I was a malt guy. But I, I like this. This was the kind of beer that I would drink regularly. Uh, good hop flavor. Really nice. And uh, amazingly enough. We've never looked back in terms of uh, you know having to make a beer that was lighter or less bitter or whatever. I mean, if anything, this beer has just gotten bigger and bigger over the years. You're fixing sorry, me I'm here? I'm fixing you, sorry, because that thing was sticking up there. I'm thinking I'm going to watch this later and go, oh, dude, it was up the whole time. No. Anyway, so let's <laughs> so talk about look. something else about this beer. Why? Oh, why, oh yeah. Swamp Fox. Yeah, yeah why Swamp Fox? What, what's the name? And I, names are a cool thing, too. I'm sure brewers think a lot about what you're going to name. I think a lot about names. Yeah. Uh, not just because I'm sort of obsessive, or well, kind of a lot obsessive about <laughs> things, but, um, but it, you know, you try to integrate uh, things that are historic to your, your surroundings. And um, one of the things about this part of the country, the low country, as we call it, is um, there's a history um, of the Swamp Fox, the, uh, the, uh, the, the the Swamp Fox is sort of the nickname for Francis Marion, who was kind of, uh, well, he was unconventional for his uh, fighting tactics in the yeah. day. Um, this is the time between the French and Indian War and the Revolutionary War. Um, he was one of the first white guys to use guerrilla warfare. Um, and he learned these tactics from the American, the Native Americans here, mm -hmm. uh, primarily in the French Indian War. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you've ever seen The Patriot, that was that the character, Mel Gibson's character, right. was loosely based on the Francis Marion character. I think okay. they call him the, the Swamp Ghost or something mm -hmm. in the movie, but um, loosely based on that idea. Yeah. He basically just annihilated a lot of the British uh, by, you know, sneaking up on them in the swamps. There you go. And uh, we've always kind of thought of this as sort of a sneak attack, you know? It's kind of like, uh, come on, tap you on the shoulder after a few. See, that's a good story. So you think people just throw a name on there and that's that. You're actually a lot of thought that goes into it. Yeah, so. the, the downside is that some people are like, what do you use, swamp water? Yes, I do. With a couple of fox carcasses thrown in on yeah. the side. <laughs> Makes it taste good. Makes it a little kick. Good, yeah. You're in the south after all. It's funny too, I had to mention a Moon River thing. This place is haunted. So that's another thing you got going here when you met the ghost. Yeah, right? I, don't, I don't really talk about that. No? Why not? Because I, I, I my ego uh, is wrapped up in the fact that we make great beer and that's what we're known for. And, well, I didn't uh, say haunted in a bad way. Maybe that's why. Uh, haunted in a loving family way? Exactly. Like maybe maybe it's the we'll ghosts of Moon River that are helping the uh, beer taste. I, and your skill, of course. Well, I always say that. Uh, they're know, happy here because. The ghosts never bother here. me because I take care of the spirits. Oh, <laughs> see, that's. Anyway, it's see, a long way around to get to that, maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't have any stories to tell about the ghosts. I know. You know it's, it's a like, joke, though, because as, as I were standing in here, usually we're in the brew house, you do get the Discovery Channels or whatever that come in here and do yeah. the occasional yeah. ghost story. Here, and I'll be honest, so. it's been great for business, but we don't yeah. do a damn thing to uh, propagate it. Uh -huh. uh, honestly, it's always been outside uh, influences that have come and you know yeah. made a big deal about it. Uh, in some cases, a lot of a big deal about yeah, it. Yeah, but we still good have good publicity. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. And, I mean, you can talk to everybody else here in the, on, on the staff, and almost every one of them has got a story to tell, but... They walk around like this all the time, so this happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, so Swamp Fox IPA, Swamp we Fox finally IPA. got a Moon River beer in. Yeah, one of these days I'll have a label. Yeah, there you go. Bottles. And someday you'll be right, exactly. That's the goal. Once the twins get a little further along and yeah. all that, mm -hmm. maybe the economy comes around, I'll have some money. Right. There you go. So <laughs> or when, somebody else has some money to get me to And then you can start break. bottling these things. So investors, there you go. So it's a good investment. So anyway, uh, Swamp Fox IPA, um, you have to get it at Moon River. Or around town. Or we're around, actually, that's true. He we're does. licensed to distribute throughout the state. Not right. us, but we can sell We sell to the Savannah Distributing. Okay. We're sort of the local craft Barrels. beer, which is where David works. Yep, David Little, um, who was a our, contributor. And uh, so we, we have, uh, they have the rights to sell our beer throughout the state now. Oh, good. So, uh, unfortunately, I can barely make enough beer for this market, but uh, that's, that's, that's not a bad problem to have. 
it's a problem I'd like to solve, but exactly. you're right. Exactly. You're absolutely you're right. right. You're, you're beer rotting in tanks would be trouble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, beer going bad. Better and better. Yeah, exactly. Good. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for All sharing. Right. Cheers. Thanks, thanks for, cheers. for thanks for Boone having River. me on. Boone River, right there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Cheers. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Yeah, see, there we go. Lovely. <laughs>